so I will ask you that, Miss Henson. How happy are you? I don't scale? know, to be quite honest. Why? I I thought I was happy, but the things that I thought, I'm gonna get emotional, I don't want to. The things that I thought was making me happy, they don't, they don't cut it anymore. And so I'm in a place where what does that look like? And I'm kind of spinning, because I don't know. The things that made me happy before, like, you know, when I was going to get married and that didn't work out. It's not that. It's not marriage. It's not right. a man. It's not. So it's for me to tap in to find my happiness. And to be quite honest with you, Angie, I haven't been happy, like purely happy in a long time. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's going to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. I want to give a shout out to Brother JJ for sending me this article about black women and um, high functioning black women and depression. Now, first of all, let's clear something up. This so-called high-functioning black woman thing, that's the black woman's version of the high-value man. It's the same thing, right? It's a bunch of words that mean absolutely nothing. Because what is a high-functioning person? Any person that's, that's depressed. Now, the lady in the article claimed that she maintained a good job and entered a nice relationship and maintained a happy social life and all along, she was clinic clinically depressed. How could that be? Because you're faking it all. You're faking it all. The truth of the matter is you're going through motions and you're not really investing in anything for real. You're just going through the motions. All of these things are meaningless because the way you interact with people is meaningless. You cannot interact with people like a robot and, and act like everything is all good. You say you maintain a, a, a nice social life. How? By going out laughing with people that you really don't want to be around? By hanging around other people that, that you got to fake the funk to be around? That you got to pretend like you're somebody that you're not to be around? That's not, that's not a social life, people. That's a prison outside, right? You know what I'm saying? That people like that can only be themselves in the privacy of their own home, and that's why they're always single. This is why they're always single. Women like that can only be who they are in the privacy of their own home. And these high value men are the same way. You can walk outside in purple and blue suits and you can put your little brim hats on, your pink shirts and all this stuff. You can go outside, you can look all shy, you know what I'm saying? But the truth of the matter is you don't have a woman living with you because of the kind of person that you actually are. Anybody who got to know you walked. And I'm pretty sure this woman has the same experience. Any man that got to know her walked. You know what I'm saying? Because you're empty on the inside. It is more than just going through the emotions to have a friend. A friend is a friend. Associates are associates. Casual acquaintances are casual acquaintances. But either, either way it go, they are all human beings. And you still have to interact with them as if they are human beings, instead of just going out, kicking with somebody that you know you don't like, they don't like you. Uh -huh, I ain't doing that, bro. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I ain't, see, I'm funny. I'm not hanging with nobody I don't really care for, man or woman. I ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that don't mean I dislike you, because you know, I don't, I don't get to the point where I dislike somebody I don't know. But if you got something about you that I'm not feeling, I'm not gonna hang with you, man or woman. We not about to go out and kiki like we buddies, you know what I'm saying, knowing damn well I don't feel you. We, I'm, I'm not gonna do it, right? So anyway, let's talk about this high functioning thing. And I wanna tie this into with the, the Taraji situation because I actually did the video already, JJ. I did this video already, but I still have my beard, you know what I'm saying? But I decided to redo it after this Taraji thing came out. See, everybody's talking about it and Nobody said the right thing. They so busy, you know, y'all so busy trying to make everything about man, woman, that y'all, y'all, y'all miss some of the intricacies in there, some some of the some of the more pertinent factors in, in, in the discussion. Taraji's situation is 
partly about you know the plight of black women that that they that they bring upon themselves by wanting to be accepted in this society and the woman in this article is the same way all of these women these high functioning people the reason why these high functioning black women are depressed not because there's an expectation that they are superheroes that can do it all they put that on themselves we never said that about them they say that about themselves black men never say that about them but the reason why they are depressed is because they try so hard to fit in at any and every cost and the costs are real and when they reach a certain age the age that a lot of you crazy red pill panderers including you females like chris up here you know that when they reach a certain age that y'all call the wall which got nothing to do with that they realize that that they've been investing in things that have been personally unfulfilling but you men are doing the same thing y'all too are investing in things that you're going to reach a certain age and realize have been unfulfilling same thing you you high value men are going to y'all y'all are going through the same thing y'all are two sides of the same coin the high functioning black woman and a high value black man are two sides of the same coin and y'all don't want to accept that y'all don't want to accept that and going back to taraji you know, now, I never really had an opinion on Taraji. I don't get into stars, they personal life. I don't care about them like that, you know what I'm saying? It's not, not important to me. If I if I like them as an entertainer or a, 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 as an actor or actress, I'll watch whatever they're in. If they're in something, I'll watch it if I like them as an actor or actress. But their personal life, I never look into. But after Taraji came out and admitted that she has never, she hasn't been happy in a very long time, I just thought, okay, because I, I mean, I looked into it now. Found out she was dating a dude, she was engaged, and it broke off. Then I looked further, right? Taraji, you know, her career was kind of, kind of, you know, fluttering, right? You know what I'm saying? But Taraji was still relegated to basically black roles or whatnot, right? So now she started, she started paddling around with the feminists, right? And right around the time when she did this, nude spray you know saying she better be naked than to wear fur for peter which peter is nothing but a feminist cover right that's all peter is it's a feminist cover right i mean i'm gonna come back and explain in a second but right around the time she did that spray for peter she got a lifetime role and she's done a lot of things a lot of uh things for the lgbt community a lot of things for women's movements a lot of things for the feminist movement and as she invested in that, her career benefited. Good for her. But the problem is, all of these things run men away. You can't have a real man messing with you, man. You around here running around with Peter. I get it, man. You, 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 the way we treat animals is horrific. I get it. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? We need to stop that. Human beings, are, there's something wrong. We are barbaric, right? I get that. But PETA is nothing more than a cover for these feminists. Now let's go to the article. These women that they call high functioning are not high functioning. They are women that break their necks, bust their tails to please the system, to, to do things that they think will, will gain favor within this system. And they do it at the cost of not only their own lives. I don't mean like physically die, but I mean the quality of their own lives. They do it at the cost of the quality of their own lives. And they also sacrifice their own inner peace and serenity in the process. So these women will never be happy. And I don't see how you can call that high functioning. See, this is a problem. Same thing with you high value men. Most of you dudes are so miserable and depressed that it's not even funny. I don't know who y'all think y'all fooling. And I'm approving. I'm approving. Your excuse for why you can't find a woman that wants to be your slave is that you're too good for her. You too good for the women. See, I'm a high value man. I'm just too good. You know what I'm saying? Women don't meet my standard. I'm not going to settle. But you don't have no woman. See, a real man would be like, hey man, I don't need to meet a woman I can marry. I'm just gonna be out here having fun with women. Because at the end of the day, 
having a woman in your life still gives you a certain degree of happiness and peace. And I don't mean having them in your life as a wife. You don't necessarily need that, but you need women in your life. Having women in your life gives you a certain degree of happiness and peace. This is why these high functioning black women are not happy because they don't have a man in their life. The same reason why you high value men not happy because y'all don't have a woman in your life. But if y'all were balling so much, the high functioning women and the high value men, y'all could find each other, right? Aren't y'all on the same level? But the truth is, neither one of y'all are suitable for marriage because you both sacrifice your soul and everything that makes you human to try to find a place within this white man system. And the more you invest in his world, the more you take away from yourself. The every step you make in his direction, every time you try to put on a suit, every time you wanna you wanna try to come out looking like like, like you're not black no more. Talking about you trying to change the stereotypes of black. Why? Why? Why do you care about what they say about us? You think I care about what they're gonna think about me when I dress? I mean, I don't dress like no teenager anyway. But do you think I care about what anybody thinks about me? I dress however I dress. We have hippies. We have black hippie dudes. The whole gospel of blacks and chains and everything, they dress how they dress. We got Rastas. We got Hebrews. We don't all dress alike. You dress how you dress. But the one thing you don't do is change the way you dress to placate to somebody else, a person that's going to hate you no matter what you do or how you do it. That's what you don't do. What you don't do is change yourself to try to make yourself more palatable to somebody that's gonna spit you out no matter what. Y'all problem is that y'all want to be like and or liked by whites. That's what your real definition of high functioning black woman is. And that's what the real definition of your high value black man is. Coons. That's all y'all are. Coons. And that's why y'all that's why y'all clash with black people so much. Because truth be told, y'all feel like y'all better than black. Look, you high value black men. Y'all feel like y'all too good for black women. Why y'all why, why don't have another woman, have another race? Oh, it's not that easy. I'm gonna get my passport. Get my passport. Go yeah, you're a high value man, right? You should have your passport. Why 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 you not already over there with a chick? Why why you don't have a woman from another um, country? Hell, I got a foreign woman. You know, I, I didn't date women from 25, 26 different countries. And again, I'm not talking about women whose parents or grandparents were born in 25, 26 countries. I'm talking about women who themselves were born and raised in 25, 26 countries and came to America as adults, could barely speak English. I dated women, I mean, probably about 70 of them. 70, 80 of them. Without this, I didn't need an airplane. Because everybody come to America. So the, the point is, if you're a high value man, then you already feel like you're too good for black women. So why you don't have a woman of another race? <clears throat> you're a high functioning black woman. You already feel you're too good for black men. So why you don't have a man of another race? Because the other races don't want you and you don't want your own. That's the problem. Think about it. Brother JJ, that was for you, my man. That was for you. Like the videos, share the videos, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, out of here, I'm Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha. So long. Um